Hi, my name is Kevin Hall, CEO of Global Integration. We're specialists in matrix management, virtual teams and global working. One of the key challenges that we found in managing matrix, virtual and global teams and organisations is finding the right balance of trust and control. We see trust and control as two sides of a balance. The more I trust you, the less I need to control you. The more I control you, the more I undermine trust. In matrix, virtual and global working, there are many factors that can subtly undermine trust. We work with colleagues across barriers of distance, cultures, time zones, and working through technology in complex organisation structures. In matrix teams, we may have competing goals and multiple reporting lines. In virtual teams, we may be working with people we've never met face to face and communicating mainly through technology. In global teams, we may be working across additional barriers of cultural differences and time zones. All of these can cause misunderstandings, delay and potential conflict. A lack of trust can lead to high staff turnover, a lack of innovation and risk taking and slow and expensive decision making. Our clients tend to be very well run multinationals, so they rarely have a major systemic problem with trust. What we do see, however, is a subtle undermining of trust and confidence caused by misunderstandings, competing priorities and a lack of face to face contact. When managers are not confident and when trust is undermined, they tend to increase control. And we often see an increase in central control when we increase the amount of matrix virtual and global working in an organisation. Now in the past, trust was a free byproduct of proximity. People who worked in the same location got to know each other over lunch and coffee and trust problems were easier to spot and resolve. Today, we may rarely meet face to face and most communication is done through technology. Trust is harder to build and problems can be harder to solve. In our matrix, virtual and global training, we look at specific research on how to build trust and relationships remotely and help build the skills and tools needed to develop, maintain and repair trust in the way we operate. Trust is also essential to empowerment. Managers will not delegate to people they don't trust. As well as actively building trust, we also need to look at our control mechanisms. We train people to track escalation to coach people remotely and to build the real capability and mutual confidence that's required for true empowerment to happen in these complex working conditions. We also help teams and individuals to systematically review and eliminate unnecessary control mechanisms. By actively building trust and working systematically on our control mechanisms to make sure we're decentralizing decisions and actions as far as we can, we can make complex organisations faster, less expensive to run and more satisfying to work in. If you'd like to find out more about how to achieve the right balance of trust and control in your team or organisation, you can find out more about this on our website or by talking to one of our specialists. If you'd like to keep up to date with our videos, podcasts and other resources on working in complex companies, please join one of our social networks. In the meantime, I wish you good luck and I hope you found this video useful. Thank you.